Altair, we were attacked. We tried to fight them off, but it was no use. Did they take Maria? I think so. They took everyone else. I wanted to stop them, but I had to hide. There were too many. This was not your fault. The Templars are crafty. I've heard they harnessed the powers of a dark oracle in Buffavento. That must be how they found us. That's a curious theory, but I suspect it was Barnabas who tipped them off. Barnabas? How can that be? The Resistance leader Barnabas was executed the day before you arrived. Before I arrived? Altair, the Templars are preparing to execute our men. You must stop them. Assault. Stop the execution in the Kyrenian market. Find the execution site. Okay. Okay, then. Well, why is the intense music playing right now? What the heck? Oi, don't drop down there again, Altair. Don't you dare. We've got places to be, I'll have you know. What was that? I was trying to tackle him off, but okay, never mind. This is not as easy as an AC1. Whoa! But oh, no fall damage, cool. Works for me. Do you think he's being Oh, this is a new area. There's a synchronization point here, apparently. It seems. So then, um What? How do I get out of here? Am I just stuck in here? Why am I trapped in here? Ow. How do I not be trapped in here? Where? Oh, where? This way, maybe? Oh, this way. This way, I guess. Or not. Um. This way? Um. The convoluted route, isn't it? I wasn't actually trying to climb this, but okay. What? I can't even get over to where I need to go. I just can't climb the roofs or something. Can I not just drop all the way down? No climbing allowed for me, apparently. I gave you that idea. Well, where'd the dude who was about to be executed go? He just vanished. Oh, dang. He did the freaking slow attack. It threw me off. Threw off my timing. Oh, come on. He's gonna attack. What is this? This is Assassin's Creed Bloodlines on the PSP. Best game ever, I'll have you know. Oh. Oh, am I timed here? Oh crud, do I have to defeat these dudes like right now? Oh wait a second, hold on. Whoa, 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 wait. Maybe I just have to defeat the dude up here. Who's like actually killing dudes. Um I guess so. I didn't realize that they were gonna start doing that. My oh my. Aha! Aha, we did the thing. Falcon kick! Oi! Ah! Camera! Camera! Okay. T Stop the assassin. Well, kill the Templar reinforcements. Okay. Okay, then. You gonna attack me? There we go. Boop the map. Oi. Why are there so many? So many dudos. High quality animations, way better than Altair's Chronicles that we played last time. Oh my goodness. Just like I said during Altair's Chronicles, this isn't actually an old game. This is actually the new Assassin's Creed coming out this year, I'll have you know. This is a pfft, just an early copy of it, I'll have you know. 
this is the kind of thing we can expect of the PlayStation 5 right here. Is what this is. This is next gen stuff. But shh, don't, don't let anyone else know this is supposed to be under NDA. I'm not supposed to let anyone know. So I guess I broke my contract. But this is PlayStation 5 animations right here. So what we can expect from that. This is going to end badly. Intercept the escape. Oh. The assassin, he's here. Okay, I guess I have to go kill him then? Okay. Running, 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 running. Oh, I see him over yonder way. Let's go then, I guess. Whoa. Um. Yeah, it makes the PS4 look trash, exactly. Um. Where's this guy at? I'm just gonna have a little bit of a tumble. Don't mind me. He's going this way? Mission failed! Oh, come on! This is going to end badly. This is going to end badly. Play a game you have not played in a long time? What would that be? Oh, come on! We're going this way this time? I just... Squiddy shooter game, you're playing Splatoon. Get out of there, Altair. You're trying to chase somebody right now. My goodness. Nice, nice. Ah! Time to die! Oh, I just barely cut him off there. Return to the Resistance safe house. Okay. Oh. Get out of my face. <laughs> Get out of my face. Wait a second, he's here. This way? Yes. The map just kind of threw me off because it was formatted weirdly. Okay. This away. <laughs> this game is the best Assassin's Creed game now. I think that has to go to Altair's Chronicles. Is what that's gotta be. I think that glory has to go to Altair's Chronicles, the game that we did last time. Because who boy was that one ever. Ever something, let me tell you. Was that ever a video game? Okay, down we go. Okay. I wasn't able to locate all of your men, Marcos. They may still be in prison, either at the harbor jail or in Buffavento. It would help to narrow that down. We don't have much time. Many of the jailers like to drown their sorrows in the harbor district after a day's work. You may be able to find information there. Still no sign of Maria? None. You think maybe she misses your company? She might after she learns more about her old friends. Meet me later, outside the gates to Buvavento. Interrogation, interrogate the prison guard, find the prison guard in the Kyrenia Harbor. Okay. Okay, will do. I can do that. Running, 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 running. You don't see anything. Jump down, Altair! Down! Down! There you go, jeez. <laughs> there you go, man. Oh, my nose. Well, let's see what we've got going on in the harbor over here. Julio, Julio. Um, we've got an interrogation over here. Oh yeah, the whole reason I was doing this series was for talking about that use of history in game design class. So I suppose like we can, uh, I suppose we can talk a little bit about what we discussed there. Are you threatening me? For what the What's Falcon Punch? Keep that up, and you'll pay dearly. You don't even know how to use that thing. Um, interrogate the prison guard by beating him with your fists without being discovered. Oh, this guy. Um. Falcon Potch! Falcon Potch! Falcon Potch! Falcon Potch! Coward! You wanna fight? Then show your face! Forgive me, Sergeant. It's the wine getting to me. You resemble the man who took my job. Eh? Yeah? Where were you posted? I worked in the chapel at Buvavento. Until Bouchard got me drunk on wine. Oh. <laughs> Rough work around that old oracle, eh? I'm working the harbor prison myself, keeping watch over those resistant scumbags. Are they still there? Sure, and they ain't getting out. 
Just one Templar holds the key. A fella up at the Crusader outpost. If he loses that set, those bastards will rot in their cells. We can't let that happen, can we? Treasure hunt. Steal the jailer's keys. Find the jailer's keys in the Crusader outpost. Um, anyway, Kraken, you're saying at least you don't have a triangle nose like you, what with villager and such. And speaking of, with this use of history in games class, we were actually briefly talking about Animal Crossing in the last class. Talking about how, you know, you're stuck in debt and paying it off, whereas no, none of the other villagers have to deal with that. So, like, it, I don't know, <laughs> helps prepare you for that kind of thing, I guess, of, you know, dealing with paying stuff off, I don't know, but, like, most recently in the class, we've been talking about games that take place during World War One and how they portray that. Um, um, so we looked at several, several games that take place there, such as Battlefield 1 or Valiant Hearts, stuff like that, and talking about how they represent it, with us mostly looking at, come on, at Battlefield 1. Because World War One was a, you know, basically the first place that trench warfare became as widespread as it was, and so relied on. And we're looking at trailers and footage of things like Battlefield One that basically just shows the combat and like the glory of it and stuff like that. Whereas in reality, it was almost completely, you know, just waiting around in trenches and more people dying to disease or malnutrition in the trenches rather than in actual warfare. But, you know, at the end of the day, they've got a game to sell, so, I mean... Yeah, I... I don't know, I guess. Let's pick this up. Yoink, we got the thing. Okay, I think I need to take off my scarf here. But we were talking about how... Like, a lot of the times, the way that... Hold on. Assault, free the resistance prisoners, find the jail in Kyrenia Harbor. So, because this is a history class, we were talking about how all history really is, is looking at the evidence that we have and forming a narrative around it to make arguments. So, like, we don't for sure know what happens then, but using the evidence that we have, we basically try to piece the closest thing that we know to the truth, I guess. So... Because we don't really know, who's to say that something like Assassin's Creed is less true than <laughs> our other takes of history? Well, I guess you can because the evidence supports our actual takes of history more. But it's, you know, just the idea of you can use the evidence in different ways to interpret this narrative because that's all that history is, is using the evidence that you have to construct a narrative out of it. I'm gonna die! And... Dang it! And history has lessons to teach, which is why it's important to study. Ah! So we were talking about how like some depictions of history, like movies or games, stuff like that, like they could show things that are incorrect or show things that didn't happen. But as long as they capture like the same lesson of the narrative, then it's, you know, a rightful thing to do. And we were briefly looking over this movie called Glory about the American Civil War, where there was a platoon of African Americans that were used as well, and apparently in the movie they were all slaves, but in in real life they were all free men by that point. But the fact that they lie in the movie and show that they're all slaves instead of free men still captures the essential, like, essence of what's being told there. Like, it still expresses to the viewer the same kind of idea, you know? Or they're... The person who is leading the group, for example, apparently there's a scene where he steals shoes and socks from storehouses to to give to his soldiers since they weren't supplied with that, since it was withhold. And I think the professor was saying that that's something that didn't actually happen, but because it, you know, is something that expresses the way that things were, then it still expresses, like, the same I don't know, idea of the narrative. And then it can make sense to bring in something like that even if it didn't didn't actually happen I guess so it's interesting looking at games like this like this series for example in that view where it's like are they still capturing the essence of ah, of 
the lessons we should learn from this history. I don't know. It's, uh... I'm gonna have to study it some more, because it's freaking complicated. <laughs> My explanation probably isn't very good. I don't know why I'm assassinating these guys, but apparently I do. Oh, because I gotta free these guys, that's what it is. Sorry, I got caught up in my tangent. Because one of the main reasons I'm doing this series on Assassin's Creed is to talk about my... about this class and what we're discussing in it. So that's the most recent stuff. Thank you, sir. May God bless you. Was there a woman with you when you were taken? A woman? Uh, yes, sir. Until the bull's son, Shalim, took her away in chains. She didn't go quietly. Hurry now. Return to your families. Don't let him escape! Uh, how about you let him escape? Actually, it looks like we have to defeat the soldiers. Okay. Well, that's one. <laughs> one out of five. It bothers me at the top there where it says soldiers defeated one out of five, how there isn't a space. Like, just the space bar between the colon and the one, or whatever number that changes to. Like, that looks like there should be a space there, and it kind of bothers me that there's no space at all. I just, <laughs> I don't like that. Fuck botch! Um, there are gonna be more of them? Aha! Oh, hello. Freaking, how do I break the grip? I don't know if I can. I'm pretty sure I did it earlier. Like, maybe not while I was recording this. It might have been when I was testing it before I started streaming. But I'm fairly certain I did it earlier. Fucking potch! Okay. What now? Um, okay. Time to die! Do we want to go to the synchronization point? Oh, that seems pretty far. I changed my mind. I thought I collected this coin earlier. Is this a different freaking fountain coin? Look out, I got places to be. Running, 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 running. Did I just see a coin up there? Whatever. Whatever. Okay, I can't decide if I'm overheating or chilled. I'm like a mix of both at the moment. Ah. Uh, let's just do a casual walk as I put my jacket back on here or my hoodie or whatever the heck. Okay, um, running, 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 running. Oh, it's over there. See if I can just climb over this. Cool. Got like a letter to deliver or something. Aha! 